Hello, this is Scott Stoll, Director of Technical Services at Insider Software, and in this video I'm going to show you how Font Agent Pro imports fonts and can compare it to how Font Explorer X imports fonts. Okay, we're going to launch Font Agent Pro here, and then we're just going to simply drag and drop some fonts into Font Agent Pro. We're going to create a new library, and we'll just call it Fonts. Okay, now Font Agent Pro is importing the fonts. It finds all the fonts for you. It checks their integrity, finds duplicates, optimizes the fonts, puts them down to the style level, and organizes them. Then at the end of the import process, you get a report here. Uh, you can see that there are some problems found. You can scroll down and see if there's other details that uh, you might want to know about the import, or you can save a copy of the report. I'm going to hit OK, and we'll check out the fonts here. It imported 99 fonts. Scroll down here, we got some fonts here, uh, Giovanni Bold, Giovanni Book, we'll remember those later, uh, Adobe Garamond. Let's see where these fonts are living now. You go Show and Finder, and we can see that the fonts are in the Home User folder in a Font Agent Pro Fonts folder. Font Agent Pro has copied these fonts to this new location, so you can be sure that you don't accidentally delete them or uh, mess with the files in that manner. Okay, let's look at this Fonts folder. Okay, remember we had some problem fonts in the import uh, report. Uh, they are in here, and we can see all sorts of things about the fonts. We have a corrupt file. Let's remember that VT102. We got a folder of unmatched screen fonts, unmatched postscript fonts. We got duplicate screen fonts and duplicate true type fonts. This folder here is for your consideration. You cannot access these fonts through Font Agent Pro, but you are able to come back later and make decisions on why they weren't imported and if you need to uh, possibly in the case of VT102 find a replacement for that font. Okay, we're going to close out of here and close out of Font Agent Pro and now we're going to launch Font Explorer X. Okay, alright, now we need to quit the Font Agent Pro daemon so this is the only thing running mon managing our fonts. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, we're going to drag and drop a folder into Font Explorer X and it imports the fonts. Okay, we've got some red fonts here. Apparently these are not good fonts. Um, they are still in the family uh, level. They're not broken down to the style. So I think I want to delete this bad style here. Uh, hit remove and it deleted the folder. In fact, there's looks like there's plenty of other Giovanni Bolds here that are imported. If I delete this, okay. All right, it's deleting the whole folder so it doesn't break it down to the style level. Let's scroll down here and there's that VT102 font. Okay, it imported those fonts. Uh, font Agent Pro said this was corrupt. Let's see what um, Apple has to say about this. Let's go into the terminal and I'll run a command. It's one of Apple's font tools, a collection of uh, command line tools that you can use to analyze fonts. And I'll hit return. Okay, let's zoom in on this and see what it has to say. Looks like there's a required glyph table missing. Alright, uh, that's not good. Uh, and a CMAP error. Uh, CMAP errors generally point to structural problems with fonts. So this is definitely a font you do not want in your collection. Okay, well let's see where this font is now. Let's uh, control click on that and reveal in Finder. It's still in the unsorted junky fonts folder on our desktop. Command here, yep, there it is, right in the same location we imported it from. Okay, well, so what happens when we say throw this folder away and we'll go under Finder and empty the trash? Hit OK. All right, now, oh, okay, it looks like all of our fonts are now damage. Let's see if we can activate or anything like that. Nope, because the fonts are not available. We just yanked all the fonts from underneath Font, Age, Font Explorer X's database. So there you have it. Font Agent Pro imports your fonts. It checks for duplication, checks for uh, corruption. Font Explorer X pretty much takes anything you throw at it. 